And now it's time to talk about Android Auto. Doesn't it feel like old times? I know, it feels like we're an introduction to Android Auto reunion. <laughs> Dylan, tell us about what we're sitting in. Actually, before we get to that, tell me about what the latest is with Android Auto. Well, I think the latest we're showing here today is that Android is now embeddable in the car. So unlike, I think we've seen in the past, you guys were showing on the phone, or even connected over USB to the car, that's Android Auto. Now we're showing Android as the actual embedded operating system in the car. So our goal is always to have safe, seamless, integrated, connected services. And now I think we're seeing the seamless part of that. There's no mm -hmm. phone involved here. Yeah, and it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, this is an Audi Q8 concept car. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's got a really nice uh, set of screens we can look at here. Um, and Audi actually just announced plans to ship in the future with Android in the car. So that's what we're showing here today. Very cool. Well, uh, let's get to, I don't know, play with some features, and then we'll yeah. get back to Android Auto in general. Cool. All right. Yeah, let's, let me show you a few different things here. So first of all, um, we've obviously got a home screen. It doesn't really look like a phone. It doesn't look like a wearable or a TV. So this is nice automotive integrated experience. We've got the kind of information a driver is used to seeing here. Mm -hmm. But the key aspect of this is that Audi did the integration, and it's Audi's UI concept. It's not just another phone or even just another car. So, for example, they like to have music front and center. They've got a great sound system. So there's interactive tiles here. Um, we can turn these on and off. They have the ability to look at uh, vehicle information. Uh, unfortunately, we're not driving right now, so it's a little static, but they have this, and it's an Android app. That's the important part. It's just an Android app. Um, we can also go to their home screen and see on the launcher, they've got their uh, important stuff that they feel is front and center here. So, for example, we can switch between apps. There's an Audi navigation app, and we can start running it. Does what you might expect in a car, right? Awesome. We're, we're driving somewhere, so that's good. If, you know, <laughs> like, let's go. Yeah, no, uh, let's not. <laughs> we should right through those doors there. Actually, yeah, we should do. Not. <laughs> they won't be happy. But um, uh, yeah, so this is happening. But what I want to draw your attention to, actually, is kind of the integrated aspect of, of what's important here is over in the cluster display now, which actually isn't running Android. This is a real-time operating system for the driver information. But we do have information coming from the app, from the APK, through the vehicle network, and it's being integrated into their, their cluster over here. Mm. Um, the same with actually the Android notifications as well. And if I switch to what they call their big stage, their different view, we can also now push through a cluster API. We can push real graphics from an app as well. So this is pretty automotive specific. I, you know, I, this is not something you would necessarily want to do on a, on a watch or what have you, but this is the kind of integration we're looking to do with the partners. That's awesome. I mean, how it's all well integrated and you still get the real-time OS for the instrumentation. I mean, that, I imagine, yeah. is critical in the automotive industry. Yeah, absolutely. So we're, we're really focusing on what they call infotainment, the, 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 the music, the maps, the, the, the media, the car information. But what, we, what we're not going into is the critical uh, information that, you know, like we're not touching the brakes, for example, right? We're not controlling the brakes yet. I shouldn't say yet. We're not controlling the brakes. <laughs> Um, or things like the speed limit, which really has to be accurate and present all the time. But I think the key, as we're saying, is we still do want to show integration as appropriate so the driver has all the information they need to see right in front of their eyes. And the passenger, for example, can still work with the system as well. Mm. So let's switch to you know, Google Maps, for example, like this. Um, and the, the passenger can work with the app like so, or they can even use the Google services like the Assistant. Navigate to San Francisco. San Francisco, all right. That's more like it. We're on the way. We can also show how uh, here um, we've got third-party apps as well. So mm -hmm. we were just talking about how on the phone side of things, the app developers have enabled their apps to work seamlessly in a car. And the same applies here. So it just extends right across the ecosystem. It's kind of just another screen to an app developer implementing a couple of APIs. But of course, we can switch to different apps. And I think the really cool thing here is that it still looks and feels like an Audi. It feels like a premium experience. Uh, but it also kind of feels like Pocket Cast. And mm -hmm. it also kind of feels like Spotify. So I think those are the, those are the key things we're trying to call out with, the, with this concept demo with Audi. Is number one, um, Android is a good operating system for the car. And number two, the, the developer ecosystem can come with it 
and tie really nicely with a good vehicle integration as well. So there's like, like he uses the standard Android Auto media and messaging API, so that just yeah. integrates right in here. So yeah, that's cool. Yep, absolutely. Like media browse, media session. As long as the uh, as long as the apps work there, then Audi can assure that it's going to work in their car, as can any other OEM as well. So that's that's the key, right? The standard APIs. Nice. Awesome. Well, before we get going, yeah. I'd like to ask, uh, what else is going on in the world of Android Auto? One of the things that I noticed recently, um, and people are still asking about, is that you can get Android Auto on your phone, even if your car doesn't have the integration built in. Yeah, yeah. Um, so one of the things we talk about is safe and seamless connected experience in any car. So obviously in this car, we have it here, it's seamless connected, but actually just if I have a phone and I'm driving my crummy old, I shouldn't say crummy, my Mazda 5, I love it, I love it, it moves my kids around. Um, I can stick this on the dashboard, I have Bluetooth connection and I have everything that I want. So if I'm driving with my old car that doesn't have Android Auto into it, I can still use my phone as is and look at the media apps that I already use today, my contacts and my map in a safe, seamless way. So yeah, I think that's the exciting part is on the phone, connected from the phone to the car, or just the car. Very cool. Well, I think that's all the time that we have, uh, so I guess we'll get going. Anything else you want to say? Uh, well, if you want to get going, should we just drive? That yeah, way? let's do that. Let's, let's do it. <laughs>